What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video. We are very quickly going to put some textures onto the metahuman skin in Substance Painter. Do a little bit of this. Let's go ahead and jump right in. We've got our metahuman Jared here in his skivvies. First things first, we're gonna wanna go ahead and open up our metahuman character creator here for Jared. You'll notice here that my textures are already downloaded. They're at 4K. Make sure you've downloaded your desired texture resolution set. Once you have your textures exported, you're gonna come up here to metahuman character and we're going to export our combined skeletal mesh. Right, we'll save that. So now that we've downloaded our MetaHuman face and body textures, now we're going to export the face and body textures as well as that MetaHuman mesh we just made. Let's come in here to our blueprint. We're going to want to select our body skeletal mesh, come over and open up our skeletal mesh asset. We're gonna come down here into our material slots and we're gonna open up our material instance body baked. And now we'll find our base color baked. So that's what we want. So let's go ahead and click this. So now that we have our body base color and we also have our body normal here, I'm going to right click on the body, come down to asset actions and export. Do the same for the normal, right click, asset actions, export, save that as well. So that was our body mesh. So now let's come up here to our base. And we're going to come over here to our skeletal face mesh, double click this, and we'll come down here to our material slots and our material instant face skin baked LOD zero. That's what we want to open up. And now it's the same thing. We found our base color baked for the head. So I'm going to come over here and browse to that. Now you'll notice that there's a couple different LODs for the head. So these all you would export and basically apply to the textures to all of these. If you were going to be using um, different LODs, I just always force my LEDs to the highest resolution and uh, I'm not going to do all these extra steps today of exporting and applying the same texture to those, but that's all you basically do. You would do the same process that we're doing for this, this texture and just apply it to the other LODs and then re-import them back into here. Anyway, so we found our head base color and our head normal right here. So I'm going to right click on this guy, come down here to asset actions and click on export again. And let's do the same for the normal. We have the two base colors for our head and our body and the normals as well. So now that we have exported our face and body textures, let's go ahead and export our skeletal mesh that we made. So I'm going to right click on this as well. Come down here to asset actions and also export. Now this is going to export it as an FBX and let's save this. I don't need the skeletal mesh and I don't need any of the animation and I definitely um, don't need any of the levels of detail. So I'm just going to leave the static mesh, the export source mesh on for the static mesh. And then let's export that. And now that we have exported our face and body textures and our normals, and we've also exported the static mesh skeleton, let's go ahead and prep and import these assets to Substance Painter. All right, let's go ahead and open up Substance Painter here. Let's go ahead and create a new file with the demo uh, mesh that we just exported for our metahuman. Make sure that we preserve our UV UDIM tiles. So you'll notice that we have two UDIMs for our MetaHuman. Basically, this is the face here, and then this is the body. We're going to rename the face and body base color and normals so that they match up with the UDIMs that we need to apply them to. We're going to rename this. So this is the body base color. So we're going to rename this to Jared base color. And because the body is on the 00, zero uh, 1002, we're going to put our dot 1002. And this is also for the body, so 1002. Then we'll come here, we'll rename this Jared. This is for the head. Um, this is the base color. And we'll put, since this is the head, we're going to put UDIM 1001. One. Great. And then since this is the normal, we're going to put 1001 as well. All right, now that our naming is all correct, let's grab all four of these. We're gonna drag them in here. And we're going to mark them all as textures. All right, and if they work correctly, you will see the twos show up. That means that you have two slots. These are double stacked in your UDIMs. So we'll come over here. 
Let's delete this layer. We're just gonna create a new fill layer. Great, I'm gonna come down here. Let's disable our height map and our metallic. Roughness, let's just set this at default, which would be 0.5. And then let's go ahead and take our base color here and we're gonna drag this down into the base color. Let's go ahead and take our normal map and we're gonna drag this down into the normal. There we go, now we got some nice textures and there we go, now we have our metahuman textured. Once you have your metahuman textured in Substance Painter, you can do anything you want with it. This is not a Substance Painter tutorial at all. Please pause this video and go watch um, all of those amazing, talented uh, artists. But yeah, let's jump into some quick uh, texturing work real quick. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to create another fill layer. I'm going to add a black mask. Let's drag this one in. I think these are pretty cool tattoos, right? All right, now that we have finished texturing in Substance Painter, let's go ahead and export those face and body textures and bring them back into Unreal Engine. Let's come up here to File, Export Textures. Let's go ahead and change our directory. Great, and they're gonna export on the size that they are. Now we're exporting an uh, emissive and occlusion map that we don't really need, but um, those will be there for us. So great, let's go ahead and jump back to Unreal Engine here and open up our location that we just saved our new skin textures to. We don't need these guys. All right, here are our fresh face and body textures we just exported. So I'm gonna select all of these. One, them us to the same for this, Jared. Base color, body, one, Jared, to normal, face one. And come over here, Jared, normal, body. All right, so let's highlight all of these textures and bring them in. And there they are. We've got our textures imported. So we're gonna come back to our material instance body baked. Let's drag in our new body baked and our new body normal, save that. And then let's come up to our material instant face baked. And let's add our facial texture and our facial normal. So now if we go to our viewport, we can see our new skin texture and our face texture on our metahuman. There he is, with this sick new facial and tats. That's it, there we go. So that's our whole video. So this is just my way of how I quickly import and texture metahumans. There's a ton of different other ways to do it. Hopefully this was helpful and let me know if you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. We got more coming. Let me know what else you would like to learn. Thanks guys, see you on the next one.